Welcome to ZeroToProTraining.com Presented by Hassan Mir This is Ajax Training Series Our topic today is Making Asynchronous and Synchronous Requests Please take the videos in the sequence to maintain the right flow of it raining topics We understand that to make an asynchronous request the open method should be called with the value true in the third parameter when using async equal to true, you need to specify a function to execute when the response is ready in the onReady state change event. On the screen, you can see this function in red. The function onReady state change is called when the response from the server is detected. This is how Ajax works. On the screen, you can see the area where the core body of the function goes. In our example, there is one line in the core body right now. You will learn about unready state change function in coming videos. At this point, you need to understand the high level syntax. To make a synchronous call, simple pass value false in the third parameter of open method as you can see on the screen. Using async equal to false is not recommended as this is not a true Ajax but for a few small requests this can be okay. Note that in the case of synchronous operation, the JavaScript will not continue to execute until the server response is ready. If the server is slow or busy, the application will hang, if not stop. So in a nutshell, making asynchronous calls is a real Ajax. Async equal to true is the way to go. This way JavaScript will not keep on waiting for the server request. Note that, when you use async equal to false, do not write, unready state change function. You just put the code after the sent statement, as you can see on the screen.